Hey guys, so this is going to be um, my guide on um, how to efficiently do the closure stickers for Papa's Posteria to go. Um, so first off, ring 69, nice. Um, but um, I'm going to show you and I'm going to use Rattlin as an example because we're on day 100, or we're on a Friday. So that's going to be on when Rattlin comes in. She has a sticker, as you can see here. Have Rattlin's order ready when she serves, when, when she arrives and serves immediately. I already did the Quinn one, but I'm going to do the Rattlin one. It doesn't matter. It works for all the closures. Um, the, the, this method I'm about to um, tell you guys. So I'm going to tell you the method first, and then I'm going to walk you through um, the actual day. So, um, this is all based on how, um, or when a certain, you know, customer comes in. So when it comes to customers one and two, just undo their orders like normal. When it comes to customer number three, that's when you start doing the closure. But after you put customer three's order in. Reason being is that I find that the, the most appropriate time in which you have enough time to do the closure, but also for, um, but also not make the customers wait as long. And I kind of screwed that up with with um, the day that I was going to do Quinn. So tip, make sure you have a lot of decorations for your lobby. Make sure that um, make sure they have enough decorations so that the customer is willing to wait a little bit longer. So let me show you um, how it works um, on the actual day. So let's get started. So we got Zoe. All right. So like I said, guys, um, the first two customers just do them as normal so so we're not going to worry about the closure yet so you take Zoe's order okay so right now is is just normal right now so so we're not gonna, we're not going to get the closures order involved just yet because we don't want the customers to wait that long I mean, we we like we don't want to do the closures order first, and then the customers last, because then that could take a while. Okay, we have customer number two from Joy. She ordered the chicken capellini special. Once again, guys, just just do it like normal. Don't do the closure just yet. What well, but this is how my method is. I know there are like a lot of methods on how to do the sticker, but this is how this is the method that I always that has worked for me um, in the past. So just keep on doing uh, the other orders. Mix that, put the bread in, very nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, customer number three is coming. This is where you need to start with the closure. So you have customer number three. All right, and do customer number three's order, like put their order in first, but then immediately after, do the closure. So we're gonna look at the closure. So we're gonna find Rattlin, because this is Rattlin's day. You can tell, because day six, that's a Friday. So she had the ring pasta at normal time. So ring, normal. So get the ring, place normal timer. All right, and then after that, you just continue on with um, the other customers. So let's put this on real quick. All right. Put these on. Okay. So that. Okay, so we got Zoe out of the way. So we, so we know that the first two or three orders you, you're going to finish before the closure comes. So we so the closure order is cooking as we speak. So just continue on with your other orders. So let's put that bread in there. Put the three cheese sauce there. Okay. And then just, just do your thing. So the three chickens. I'm mean, sorry, the six chickens. I can't count. Right, speed the bread up if you need to. Make sure that these aren't these are not being burned. So take that out, take that out. Serve that real quick. 
And number four is here. So um, actually what, what I recommend you doing is do these orders first. So, so um, actually ignore the other customers. I know it's rude to, to ignore the other customers, but in this case, you're gonna have to do it because um, if, you, if you don't, like if you actually acknowledge the customers, that's gonna slow you down. That's why it's important that you have all those decorations in your lobby so that they're willing to wait a little bit, you know? So let's just clear this one out real quick. Put the bread in. Okay. Doing good so far. So the first three orders you're going to get to before the closure. And then now we're going to pay some attention to the closure now. So we're going to go to Rattlin again. So Rattlin wants that, that bread, that spotted bread, as well as that sauce. So take it one ingredient at a time. So, or two, you can manage two. So that bread and this sauce, I believe it was this one. And then go back. Don't worry about memorizing the whole entire order. Just take it one or two ingredients at a time. Because the last thing you want is to make dumb mistakes. So you have the mozzarella and the peppers. And, and make sure you know which toppings and how many. So the order asks for six peppers, I think. It's always good to double check. Better be safe than sorry. Six peppers, yeah. All right, have the bread here. All right, now the closures order is ready and we still have time. I, I, I just find that I'm doing it between order number three and order number four is the most efficient. So from here on out, you can um, do the other customers as normal. So we got them, we got Rico. But one thing I do recommend is that um, once we get, once customer number six comes in, I recommend that you guys actually wait in the lobby for cut for um the closure. So um, just do these orders as normal for right now, cause the closure has a ways to go. Like customer number six hasn't come in yet. All right, very nice. Just focus on four and five right now. Okay. There we go. Just let that strain, we're, we're not gonna kind of rush the strain in. Okay. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna leave these pastas sitting over here. We're not gonna start making them yet. We're just gonna leave them right there. Okay, so we have to wait for number six. In number six, there is like a big gap, so I'm going to wait for number six to come in. Okay, we got number six. All right, now what we're going to do, guys, um, this is how I'm going to do it. We're actually going to not do anything. We're actually going to wait before we start making six's order. Just to make sure, I mean, just to be safe so that when seven comes around, we can serve seven right away. And usually the gap between six and seven is not as big or as long as the gap between five and six. So um, I'm just gonna wait a little bit. And then, um, yeah, so we're just gonna wait a little bit. And then once we get seven served, then we'll finish off the day with four, five, and six. So yes, as you can tell, it might take a while. So that's why I say, make sure you have some, a decent amount of, of decorations or furniture in your lobby so that they can sacrifice some of their time a little bit more than with a naked lobby. Okay, so the closure is here. So we have Rattlin. So you have to take her order first. And then once her order is taken, just speed through the, to the bread and then serve it. And what I recommend, guys, is make sure you, serve the, you have the bread on the plate before she gets in here. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And then once you're done with that, just, you know, do the rest of the day. So we're gonna do the bread here for number four. Okay. So 
So so while we're um doing these orders, I just want to say um I, I I am aware that I did talk about this in the live stream, but I think I kind of screwed it up in the live stream to the point that I didn't feel like it was explained to the extent that it should have been explained. So that's why I'm making this um tutorial so that you guys can kind of have an idea of how I um do these stickers or how how I do them. Like I said before, guys, um there are multiple methods, there are multiple ways to do this, but I feel like this is the way in my opinion that that meets both ends of the spectrum so like not only do you have enough time as you can tell we have like more than enough time for the closure but also um, we're not making the customers wait as long but they could wait a little while so that's why i still recommend you put the furniture or have as many as many furniture as you can in the lobby and make sure the furniture matches um the holiday that you're in so like as you can see i use chili fest furniture instead of just regular furniture or like other holiday furniture so that's also important but the main the main thing you should get take away from this is make sure you have furniture and start doing the closures order between orders three and four so like around halfway a little less than halfway but like around halfway all right so we're going to finish this order here with this bread Okay, very nice. Okay, and then just put on the chicken. Okay, and the mushroom in the middle. Now you guys might not have the same special as me, so you don't have to worry about the part I just said. Okay, and that's... That's pretty much all there is to it for those specials. So I know I did rattling, but if you guys are wondering about Quinn, it works the exact same way. It works the exact same way. The process is the same. So to reiterate, guys, uh, before I end the video, to reiterate, here are the steps, in my opinion. Um, so the first two orders, do them as normal. When order number three comes in, put it, put it in that words first, but immediately afterwards, put in the closures. Then do those three then do those first three orders before the closures and then do the closures. Like the main takeaway is do the closures order before you do number four. And then so that you will have enough time. And also the customers don't have to wait as long as, you know, doing the closures order first. So um yeah, that's that's my guide on how to do the closure stickers, or I should say stickers number eighteen and nineteen. For Pablo's Posteria to go. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.